Okay, so Fel, uh, in today's video, we'll just do a little briefing before we start the video. We're gonna do it all in French. <laughs> <laughs> Your French is getting really good, Fel. Je peux comprendre plus que je peux parler. C'est difficile pour moi. That's Mais good. Nous pratiquer. See, I can understand. You said that it's hard to speak French and you have to practice, or we're gonna it's practice. It's probably because of your Spanish. The Spanish really helps because Spanish and French are like so close. English and French is, is, is not as close. English and... Hungarian, anything yeah, Hungarian. Hungarian. Well, that's easy. I will brief you guys today. We are continuing our tour of the Loire Valley and the vineyards. Oh, let's get behind this cool thing. Oh, Wes wants a nicer backdrop. Last night we slept in Chinon, such a nice little village. And today we have driven to Vouvray and we are at a vineyard. They're just preparing some coffee for us. We're going to do a tour of the vineyard. We're going to do some tastings. And if the weather clears up, we have a fun activity planned for the afternoon. And is that good for the briefing? Here, I'll point on the map though. I think, well, that would help me. We started in Nantes. We followed the Loire River. We were in Angers, followed the Lo we were in Samour with the castle. And now we are, where's Vouvray? Oh, we're Vouvray. here, Vouvray. Guys, this is like an epic road trip. If we ever come back, or when we come back, I think we're coming back to France now that our French is so good. We've seen a lot of camper vans too, but the only downside is the roads are super narrow. It's like Ireland again. I think I'm getting to that point where like you, you're losing sleep and you're relying on coffee to fuel you and you're delirious. Like I'm close to that. Apparently for a better tasting, you want to do it in the morning because you have a fresher palate. So we're drinking in the morning because that's how that's, that's the right way to do it. They told us. They, they told us. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> One o'clock. Oh this is so good. <laughs> Two o'clock. <laughs> we're at an independent winemaker and everything is done inside this cave. You can feel the temperature changing as you walk in. The smell is a bit of like wood and it's traditional to have a chimney here. I guess that's how they did it years ago. This was etched in to represent, where is he? Oh, here, Bacchus, the god of wine. You must pay tribute in the form of blood. No. It's cool. What's cool about this place is like, we're actually going, it's not, this is not a museum. We're actually walking through like a legit, like this is where they're producing the wine. Is in a cave in like the side of a mountain right behind this guy's house. It's pretty unique. There's a, it's like an elaborate cave system and, and all this stuff was brought out by like horse and, and buggy in the year a thousand. So now they're making wine in it and the material is like very soft. It's like almost like wet sand or something. It's getting very narrow. Like we have to duck in here and they used to bring a horse and buggy and they would extract the earth this way and then all of this was used to make buildings and the churches and stuff in yeah, town yeah there was like a big demand for building materials and i can't believe we're actually in here it's weird because the material feels so soft la version qu'on voit ici là on voit bien on devine toute la cette forme qui qui ressemble à rien Is this to your taste, madame? <laughs> this is traditional method sparkling wine. And what's different about sparkling wine, which I thought was pretty cool, is that it's made inside the bottle. I think they barrel it for like a month or some of them do. What they do is they add sugar and yeast and they have it resting on an angle like this. The traditional method, the way they used to do is they turn it. I don't know if it's every couple days and then the yeast builds up at the bottom. They crack the top. So he showed us an example. He crack the top and then they flip it up so that all the stuff on the bottom, all the yeast, falls out and then they, you know, they add some more stuff and then close it up with an actual cork. Kind of a cool process, did not know. Learning.com. So you're gonna get a bottle? We might, yeah, we should actually bring back a, a, a sparkling wine, for sure. For our tasting. For our tasting we're gonna do, for our pairing that we're gonna do. I'm getting better. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> not getting better. This is 1985. I think it's the oldest of the wines we've tried here. Actually, this whole trip. <laughs> not spitting this one out. We're gonna, we're gonna drink it. So we sat down at the, the table here inside of the their cellar to to have some of their food. It's like a charcuterie, like a meat platter. So we sit down and have a bunch of meat. I literally eat, not even joking, half a loaf of bread with the meat, right? Because I'm like, you know, this is the lunch. And I guess that was only the first course. <laughs> I literally have a loaf of bread. I'm pretty full. <laughs> right? 
French food, or French lunch. A lot of meat, a lot of bread. Good bread though, quality bread. This looks delicious. Ever since I moved out, my dad likes to say like, you know, make sure you're eating well, make sure you're good. So this is, you know, dad, I'm eating, I'm eating well. This is the proof. You got a camera crew, Phil. We are about to go canoeing in the river right by a castle like i'm very excited it's hot though so i don't need this life jacket life jacket hello look how tight it is brother i'm color coordinated full of small we're having a friendly competition there's three teams of two we're all canadian and i'm thinking maybe we'll win we've canoed before right we're experts yeah. we did we've it one it time one. No, yeah. <laughs> no tipping the canoe fell because we got our camera no I know you saved the camera before you saved me, eh? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta push Felicia's head down. <laughs> Full steam ahead, Phil! You can see the castle! Take it! Ah. Just... <laughs> we ate a lot of food today for lunch, so this is good. We made it! Well, which one should we go through? We're about to go right under the castle through one of the arches. Is it the one we're going to go through is the small one, so the kitchen, right? And they warned us not to go swimming here. Wes, do you want to say why? Supposedly they say that the the, the, the castle drops their pollution sewage in here. Their sewage, yeah. But maybe so. that's just from like the olden times they said that. Oh, I don't know if we said we're at Chateau Chenonso. So picturesque. <laughs> oh no. This is where they draw the sewage, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Burning off some of the French. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh my god. I gotta turn around. So, what do you think, Wes? Woo. Not bad. I mean, like, literally, it was like a 10 minute, 2 kilometer canoe ride up here to get to this beautiful castle. Pretty nice. Like, there's not really any current. Actually, we're, we're taking the current right now, are we? Do you know the name of the castle? No, I do not. Lower castle? No, I'm not sure. I have no idea. Chateau? Chateau? Chenonceau. Chenonceau. On Chateau the river Chenonceau. Cher. On the river Cher. So pretty. And then tomorrow we're going to come back and actually see the inside. Yeah, we're going to go in the castle tomorrow. You know, I was a little bit worried about taking the, the camera on the canoe. You know, because the canoes are very rocky. Like last time we were in a canoe, we almost flipped. But this river is very calm, so it's nice. We did not drop the camera though. But they were bumping into us and then we almost, we almost flipped over. But... Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, oh my god! Merrily, merrily, <laughs> this is Why is it going so fast? Well, I'm the only one paddling, Phil. You're sitting there filming me. What are you doing? <laughs> Why Everyone's are you? in front of us. Awa. Awa, please. How Water. do you say it in French? Le, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it was a crocodile. <laughs> you would piss your willies, eh, if we saw a crocodile? Piss my willies? <laughs> yeah, piss your willies. <laughs> What a spot, eh, Phil? This the, city looks so pretty. The Grand Hotel, right across, well, you can't see it, but there's a train station right there, really beautiful. We're in uh, Tours. 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 This is the train station of Tours. This is our hotel, beautiful spot. We are in room 216, de Saint-Sens. It's like old school elevator. Does it make you nervous? Yeah, it does. Really? No, just kidding. I'm, no, I'm a man, Phil. I don't get nervous. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you gonna fit? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. Did you press the button? Yeah. I'm pretty happy with this uh, this hotel and uh, the location. But you haven't seen the room yet. No, I don't care. We gotta go back to, uh, we gotta come back to this city here. Yeah. This, oh, Jesus. This song says, Yeah, it does smell good. So it's like a, it's like an older style of a hotel. But like, has some modern. But it has modern bits and is in a prime, absolutely prime location. Two sinks for the couple. Woohoo! This is like a, um, a totally Europe 
This is a Europe tub, like where you don't really stand up when you shower, which is yeah. which is crazy for us. <laughs> and um, the first times you'll get everything wet. And the toilet is in a separate room. Oh yeah. That's weird. Whoa. Oh, that's not the bathroom. Our room has no Where the Where's the bathroom? No, that's a closet. What the hell? Oh, okay. Can you didn't even see that. That was a McDonald's there. But there's a cafe. It's like oh, a square. Nice. This is like the, the train or the trolley tracks or a train. Oh, this is cool too. Shit, man. This is a great look. Oh, that's this is the train station right there. Yeah, so in two days, that's how we get to Paris. Oh, man. That's cool. I'm happy with this. Yeah, me too. I used to only have like a couple of gray hairs and I just looked and like one, two, three. I'm going gray. I think you'll look good gray because your hair is so dark that it'll look, I think it's going to look good I'm if you're gray. I'm 30. You can, I think you need to drop the only now. I don't want to pull them up. I like no, it. No, to make, like, you can see better than I can. Yeah, we can see them. The viewer can see. 